Okay, uh, back to the sculpture. This is my new improved, new and improved joint armature system technique. Uh, instead of just using uh, wax as the part where the arm the armature plugs into, uh, I reinforced it with a rolled up piece of aluminum, um, aluminum, and. Uh, and on the other end, I twisted it around itself uh, after I made a loop uh, to create an anchor. That's where that's where it goes. That's that's the that's where it plugs in, and it uh, it works uh, it works out a lot better than the way I, I had uh, originally uh, had it. It, it it's it still twists um, when you twist it, but um, there's resistance. It's not all it's not wiggly like it was before, which is uh, which is perfect. And it stays in. It's it slides in nicely, um, depending on how you put it together. So that's where the hole is. It's the that tube that I'm little tube I made is sticking out just a little bit. If you can see it, but it works out pretty well. Yeah, it twists. You can still twist it, but it's um, it's not going to get any looser. And it's an anch anchored in there pretty well. It ain't gonna. I made it so that it would take a a lot of force to to pull it out. So as you can see, there's uh, I have a pit. I have a new kind of a background. It's a. I'll get to that in, later on in, in the video. Um, I use the. Well, traditionally, um, art. Uh, I've seen other artists use uh, brass tubing. I mean, this is the brass tubing, square brass tubing, and plastic brass tubing is uh, probably the best way to go uh, especially the brass tubing because uh, you can use heat with it and um, the, the this brass tube that I that I have right here I have to you have to use a Dremel tool to cut the pieces off and it comes in this that one come came in a package like that and uh, by a company called K&S and it was two dollars and something cents. I got it at my lo at the local hobby store. And then there's the square plastic tubing. Uh, I saw this uh, this method this uh, technique using uh, the plastic tubing by um, another YouTuber, Julian Kaur, very talented artist. Um, And then uh, I decided to, you know, I used it. It works really well. Uh, with the plastic, it, it's it's tr tricky because it, it'll melt if you if you get heat close to it. And um, I seen Julian Core uh, use the plastic tubing, but uh, you can't um, you can't bake it. I seen, I mean, Julian used. Uh, Super Sculpey, and that's the you have that's the polymer clay you have to put in the oven, and I can't imagine putting this in the oven; it'll just melt. But this one, uh, the brass will, you know, it's, it's better suited for that. Um, I believe that if you want to uh, apply heat to uh, harden the Super Sculpey, you have to boil it. 
if you're using plastic tubing, I, I can imagine. And that's how it works. Those the one there's one bigger and there's one smaller and it fits in um like one piece. You you cut two pieces about the same length and then um you attach a wire to it and then on on the other end you create an anchor and um insert it onto the other side. So that's how it would work for if you're using brass tubing or square plastic tubing. And I might um I might upload a video demonstrating that. Uh but we'll see. But you know, I like I like the method that I came up with so far. I mean it's it's uh I mean it's a cheaper alternative and if you don't have these these tubings laying around and if it's inconvenient for you um uh, you can use this uh you can use this method that I'm about to demonstrate Yeah, so I'm. Uh, I also wanted to try to play around with the lighting for my videos right now. I'm using. I have lighting that I've been using before, but I also added my desk lamp uh, before um, because I wanted. I figured that, that if I had more lighting, the the better the the video quality would be so I added I turned on my desk lamp uh, I was I was pointing it directly at my my work area but I thought it would be too too way too bright so I decided to turn my desk lamp because my desk is like right is right up against the wall and it's painted white and uh, I decided to shine the light directly onto the wall and to soften the light. I guess they, it's called diffusing, diffuse, diffuse light. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I like the way it's like a nice soft. Um, I don't know how to describe it, like a winter type of type of uh, effect. I think it looks nice, but I might need more lighting because it's the way that it's angled it's uh casting a lot of shadow, and I think that I might need more light coming from behind me. and then, as you can see, that's this um uh, acid brush right right here. Um, this is where I'm going to get my aluminum, my aluminum sh uh, sheet to roll up a tube. And um, these, uh, you can get these, these are really cheap brushes. I, I suppose you can use aluminum uh, soda cans, but um, there's the ink or whatever they use that they have on the logos on the soda cans. I don't know what will happen if I, if you apply heat to it. Um, but uh, these you can get these at local hardware store. They come in a pack of um, a whole bunch, and at the end it's just uh, the cheap bristles. I don't know, like pig hair fur or horse hair. Um, so. I have to, um, I'm going to wedge my tool in here and to open it up just so I can get the, those bristles out. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful here because those bristles will make a mess. And 
and a, a couple strands came out already. I wouldn't even use these kind of brushes to paint with. They're just used. They're just cheap throwaway brushes. So I got I got to open it up a little bit and um You also have to be really careful cuz this can cut you. Uh I have I don't think I've been cut with aluminum like this before. But, you know, if you're using this uh be careful. There, now pop right out. They're just kind of glued together and then just shoved right in there or whatever how they do it.